And again, I have to say this every video when I'm talking about the police. I'm not a fan of police. I do know that they do serve a purpose in a polite society, in our constitutional republic. Imagine my shock when I came across this. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, a log, or some liberal piece of human trash, you would know this has sort of been a thing for the last year. Maybe even perhaps longer than that. Why would you ever, 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 ever become a cop in a Democrat-controlled city? Now, if you look at the top 25 cities in the United States, I think 22 out of the 25 are run by, you guessed it there, folks in Lazo Land, filthy goddamn Democrats. Liberals, progressives, whatever you want to call it. I think the other three are um, independent. I think one maybe perhaps, I know that's 26, one perhaps maybe Jacksonville, Florida, which is probably run by a left-leaning Republican. But regardless, why is that? That all cities in the United States, top 25, big cities, metropolitan, metropolitan areas, are run by filthy goddamn Democrats. I don't need to tell you that. I think you could figure that on your own. Okay, so the Democrat-controlled cities, or another one, that is, is having problems recruiting people to join its police force. Now, especially with what happened in Columbus, Ohio, recently, the cop saved a life. He also had to end one because that woman was about to give someone an appendectomy right there on the street. But hey, you know, you know, he should have shot her in the leg or, you know, fired in the air or fired in the ground. He should have not shot her four times because a split decision saved that woman's life. But, you know, I guess nuance is always lost on the goddamn Democrats because it's, they're, they're not, they're not used to nuance. It's always, well, I would have done better. Yeah, I, I'm sure you would have, Mr. Quick John McGraw, you know, would have, you know, pulled out your six shooter, went, pew, 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 shot the knife out of her hand. And sat her down and had a real good talking to her, you know, because uh, talking to someone who's really pissed off and about to stab someone to death, you're going to get through to them, you know, within 11 seconds because that's not, no, no, that's not how it works. We all know that. So the Philadelphia Police Department is struggling to hire new recruits for the force as it's facing severe understaffing problem and rising crime rates. This is what happened in Minneapolis, where they defunded the police. Oh, then crime shot up, response calls shot up. So, why? I, I thought this was going to fix everything. No, no, it's not going to fix everything. They were talking about putting social workers as police. And if you saw the Ohio shooting video, Columbus, Ohio shooting video, on my other channels on uh, BitChute and Odyssey, you know for a fact that once the guy left his car, within 11 seconds, he had to make a decision whether to end that woman's life, girl, teenager's life, to save that other person. Do you think a social worker who has a basket weaving degree and, you know, a social credit score of, you know, you know, <laughs> 25 Kool-Aid hair weirdos up that they would have figured this out, what to do? When they're not armed. Hey, stop stabbing that woman. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, shoot. There's so much blood. You really think that would have solved everything? Would have fixed the problem? Of course it wouldn't. So if you're in this, these large metropolitan areas as a cop, knowing that full well that the city will throw your ass under the fucking bus in two fucking seconds to push a social justice narrative... Why would you want to be a cop in these cities? The pay is shit. Starting out, why would you want to be a cop in those areas? If I was a cop in those areas, I would quit, move to the rural areas, and become a sheriff. Not a cop in these metropolitan areas where the whole city government is run by, you guessed it, folks there, boys and girls, and out in Lazo land, filthy goddamn Democrats. All of them, 100%. Try to find a conservative or Republican in a large metropolitan area on the city council. You're not going to. And if you do, I guarantee you, they're really not right of center. 
Either be that as it may, okay? Six ABC reported dozens of new recruits reporting for training every three months, but the last class, class graduated in December, and the next class is not slated to start until May. The Fraternal Order of Police Lodge Number 5 President John McNesby told 6ABC it has been a perfect storm of circumstances that have led <laughs> to the current shortage. Yeah, I can't imagine why. With many officers taking early retirement and few training classes because of the coup. And you got to remember that once you go into the academy, it takes you about 10 months to finish. So we're not looking to put any boots on the ground until perhaps next spring. There's also a new policy that requires all applicants to be living in Philadelphia, which is pretty goddamn expensive in some areas, before they start at the police academy. Nobody's going to move to Philadelphia hoping to get, hoping that they get a job. They want to make sure they secure employment, then move in. Yeah, because if you don't get the job and you wash out, then you're stuck with the lease. Or it, it's just it's it's, it means, it's insane. It's insane that. You need good policing. You need to pay them, dare I say, properly. And you do need to have them trained properly. But if you keep defunding them, you keep throwing them under the bus, and you keep allowing people in the streets to riot and pillage and destroy, and not giving the police some sort of instructions how to deal with that properly, and not throw them under the bus, why the fuck would you be a police in Philadelphia? Why would you be in Minneapolis or New York City? You wouldn't. And again, I have to say this every video when I'm talking about the police. I'm not a fan of police. However, I do know that they do serve a purpose in a polite society. In our constitutional republic, police do have to have the authority to arrest people. You may not like being arrested, but you can fight it in court. The problem is now is that they're throwing these cops under the bus. They're, they're told to like, Hey, you need to make a split decision, but it better be right. And if it's not right, under the bus. Um, all this has led to is prospective recruits to seek law enforcement jobs outside the city. This becomes at a time when police morale is low nationwide amid incidents that have led to riots. In addition to experiencing rioting after the George Kirby, I mean Floyd murder, Philadelphia experienced another wave of rioting after an officer shot a black man who charged at him with a knife. Yeah, so again, you can't self, you can't protect yourself. So you have to let the let the criminal stab you within an inch of your life. Then you may ask him to put the knife down and put his hands behind his back to arrest him, because the way the things going now is that uh, you assume the worst, riot second. You don't. Chill back for a second and go, okay, let me figure this one out first, all right? Let me check the body cam. How about cooler heads prevail? No, can't have that. We need to immediately assume the worst. Despite the body cam video uh, showing the officer acting in self-defense, rioting and looting struck the city for two days. Of course it did, because reasons. The LA Police Department uh, also has fewer officers than it was budgeted for, again, because of early retirements and resignations. Its budget was also cut last year, but Mayor, <laughs> but Mayor Eric Garcetti just proposed a 3% increase in funding for the upcoming fiscal year, owing in part due to the city's rise in crime. And this goes to show you folks that you're just not going to win. If you live in a big city, you're insane. You, you can't live in a big city. Now, I know... Some of you can't move out of there. I get it. Some of you don't want to. I get it. But let's look at it this there, folks. Um, when you don't... I understand that problem cops need to go away. They need to be prosecuted. They need to be fired, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when you, when you constantly demean cops, when you constantly assume the worst, they're going to quit leaving the bad cops there. Or the cops are just not going to do anything. They may get a call, a call for service. Oh, there's a knifing in this area that's predominantly African-American. Nope, I got a flat tire, sorry. Oh, engine trouble, can't be there. They're just not going to go there. And would you, as perhaps, let's say you're, you say you're a white guy, white cop, and you get a call for service in a neighborhood about a knife attack or a domestic disturbance. Do you, do you really want to go there, right there? Do you really want to 
get spit at by these peaceful BLM knife attack protesters? D really? No, you wouldn't. You would just go, nah, this ain't worth it. You'd retire or you'd quit, resign, and move to another area where you'd be a sheriff in a small town where, or a deputy in a small town where you're not going to get harassed like this. The worst call you're going to do is get is a, you have to move a cow out of the middle of the, you know, the two-lane you know, county highway. That's the kind of stuff you probably want to do. Maybe perhaps you got into policing for, you know, the best of intentions. Now, y you can't. You don't dare shoot anyone. Even if it's a clean shoot, why? So you can have the city get locked down and in protests and violent riots for three days because some some methed out tweaker starts to, starts to stab you to death or, you know, give you a tracheotomy and you shoot him and all of a sudden you're at fault because you were trying to d defend yourself and other people? No, 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 no. This is going to be more of the same. This is what they want. This is what BLM want. This is what the Marxists want. They want strife, civil strife in the streets. They want violence in the streets. They don't want peace. They may say they do, but their actions tell you otherwise. BLM and the Marxists who are pushing this narrative that all cops are racist. This is what they want. They want strife in the streets. Why? Well, I've already stated it. They're Marxist. And they're going to push a Marxist ideology, a communist socialist ideology. That is the end result that they want. And you're not going to tell me anything, anything different. <laughs>